it's one of the better golf courses around the, the northern Alabama area up around Florence. So we'll, we'll look forward to playing Turtle Point Yacht Club and just something new and different. But, uh, you know, you have a day to learn the golf course and then you just get after it. Well, I just think it's very important to support new teams. You know, I think having added Liberty and UNA to uh, the A-Sun is, is good for our conference, obviously. And it, you meet new coaches, you, you meet new kids from those programs. My boys get to play with them. We've actually played with the uh, University of North Alabama at Memphis, so it was great to meet Cullen and all his boys and my kids get to know them. So we're looking forward to the tournament. And uh, we were really uh, coming in on a bit of a high, and now we're coming in on a bit of a unknown. We don't know what's gonna happen now. So, well, I think any time uh, an athletic team loses one of its better players to an injury, that's, it, it can be one of two things. The most paramount thing is that you gotta take care of your kid and, you know, Christopher does have a great uh, fall season going and look, looking good for him maybe to move forward and make all conference. And you sure don't want to interrupt that momentum by you know him trying to play when he's hurt or me pushing him to play when he's hurt. And I, I would never push anybody to do that. But uh, you know it was kind of out of nowhere. We find out he, he looks like he's probably got a stress fracture in his foot, and they're going to put him in a boot and. And the smart thing to do is put him in the boot now so that he'll be ready to go in the spring. And, and uh, you know, he's a, he's a real competitor. So uh, probably, he probably knew he had the stress fracture a little earlier than he told everybody. But uh, that's Christopher. He, he pushes through a lot of things. And uh, it's really, you know, it's really hard to shut somebody down that's that much of a competitor. And I, I'd like to think all the boys on my team are that strong competitor. But when you're going good, I know it. it uh, in talking to him yesterday, I could tell it was really bothering me. He wasn't going to be able to play, and I think he feels badly, obviously for himself, and I think he feels badly. This, you know, that that the team's going to be a, <clears throat> a little bit uh, in disarray with him not being able to play. But you know, that's that's part of sports. You got to figure out a way to play when one of your better players or any of your players are injured. You know, if you're on a football team and the left guard's hurt. Everybody's got to pick it up, and the, the, the guy that takes his place has got to go in and do the best he can. So we're going to add uh, Michael Sumner to the travel roster this week. It'll be Michael's first tournament, which is will be a really big um, – probably be a big burden for Michael to carry. Hey, it's your first tournament as a freshman, and now all of a sudden you're, you're stepping in when, you, when the best player on the team at the time is kind of, you know, out of the lineup. So uh, it'll, it'll be fun for us to go in there and see how we do. Well, I did speak to his father yesterday, and I spoke to our trainer about that. And you know, uh, Chris, Chris's dad has a partner that's a specialist, and they they talked to him too. And uh, he's going with our trainer today to see our team doctor, Dr. Holman. And uh, I'm sure we'll get an X-ray, and they're probably going to shut him down till we get the MRI. And you know, that's the smart thing to do. You got to protect this young man's future. It's just, one tournament's one tournament. And, you know, I think anybody that's ever played a sport, they don't want to miss a game, they don't want to miss an inning, but you know, when you're hurt, you're hurt. And uh, you don't want to do anything stupid that hurts you in the long run. We, we just seem to have really gelled in the last tournament of everybody understanding what, what, what's your obligation to the team? What's your job in the team? And uh, you know, we've been very fortunate to have Carson Toole come on as a freshman and step in there as our number four and five guy. And he, he was hurt last week and gutted through it you know, and, and played well for us. And, you know, I think Baylor and Tate do have to look at themselves and say, okay, we, we got to pick up the slack here. And it's not that either one of them are playing badly, you know, but now now they're the ones we're going to lean on to, to try to go low. And, and we had this discussion the other day, you know, when one of your teammates is going low like Christopher did in the last tournament, your obligation is to don't do something stupid and make a big number and give away all of his hard work. So you want to try to really try to hover around par or, or you can go under par too you know I don't have anything against that but you know I think I think uh, the one uh, you know all the boys on the team really get along well this year so uh, I, I I know they're gonna miss Chris but at the same time they're gonna they're gonna take Michael under their wing and we're gonna go in there and do the best we can and you know Carson and Michael are roommates so Carson can give him a lot of experience having already played three events as a freshman and uh, I'll probably spend a lot of time with Michael on the golf course once we start playing. You know, Jake, Jake came back from the summer playing really good, and everybody was excited. Then he went to his first tournament. I don't, I don't know if he was uh, physically prepared as he was maybe mentally. I think he was in a pretty good 
mental place when we got there, but I think physically he wasn't ready to, you know, walk 54 holes and go. He had some blister problems with his shoes. And then it just, you know, it was hot and it was tough. And, uh, you know, I think that's, you have to re-examine where you are as an athlete. You know, if you're not, if you're not in shape, you got to get in shape. If you're not in shape to play your sport, you got to get in that sport shape. And uh, there's no doubt that Jake can play. Uh, the, the, he can he can really help us a lot this week because he has the capacity to make a lot of birdies in a round of golf, but he also has the capacity to make some bogeys, and we need to have more birdies than we do yeah. bogeys. Hearts and prayers go out to all these people that have suffered through this devastation we've been through it. So, you know, uh, we'll 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 vector around it. We'll figure a way to get there. It's just a long trip. I mean, it's almost 690 miles, ten and a half hours, which is. That's going to be to uh, prove to be a little bit of an issue to try to get the boys back and get them back here, uh, you know, Wednesday morning, early Wednesday morning, so they get into class, and that's that's tough. But there's no easy way to get to Florence, even if you fly. It takes almost as long to fly as it does to drive. So we'll just cut it out. We'll drive up there and see what happens. Okay. Well, I think what we spoke about earlier, we've got to eliminate big numbers. The the big numbers hurt us last week in North Carolina. And, and no one's exempt. We, every boy on the team had a big number but Chris. And uh, you can't, at this level, you, you, can't away, you can't throw away multiple strokes in a golf tournament and, and feel like you're going to get them back. And, you know, we played very well in that event. Uh, but if you took out the multiple number holes, the quadruples, the triples, you take that out, we really played good. I mean, it wasn't like we uh, couldn't play and it just – I don't know if we made physical mistakes in hitting the shots or we made mental mistakes. And, you know, I think, you know, every coach in the world will tell you that mental mistakes is what drives them crazy. Penalties, you know, in football, fouls, unnecessary fouls in basketball, Lynn and Corey go through that, Roger goes through it. It's no different in golf. When you, when you make a mental mistake and you go at a pin that you know you shouldn't have, you end up making a triple bogey, then, you know, you're not going to get it back in one hole. And if you only have nine holes to go, it's a pretty big task. And, you know, I, I got to say, I was pretty proud of Baylor last week, too. When Chris was playing good in the last round, Baylor made a triple. And he could have packed it in and just had a so-so round, but he made up his mind he was going to play the last nine and 300, and he goes out, and that's what he did. You know, Tate, the same way. He had a triple. Carson had a, had a bad hole with a hurt shoulder, and we didn't even know if he was going to be able to finish that round. And he guts it out and plays really good the rest of the way. So I, a lot of characters showed last week in this event, and I was proud of them. You know, I really was.